What's up? Yo guys, what's up? It's Dave from Open Source Gangster. So do you want to be able to run Windows XP on your Android phone? Well, it's possible. And no, I'm not BSing you in any type of way, nor am I playing some type of VNC trick on you. So as you see, running Windows XP on your Android phone is very real and possible. Now that said, it is very slow and to the point of so slow that you can't even run Minesweeper at decent FPS. So why do this? Just to impress your iPhone friends, and that's why. So if that's it, a few prerequisites in which you'll need for this project is first a decent Android phone. Honestly, if your phone is crap, then it's not going to work. Even though most of the slowness from this comes from the app itself and not your phone, if your phone lacks the available RAM needed to run, then it's just going to be epically slow, and you don't want epically slow. Next, you'll need a copy of Windows XP. So just to show you, I have a legit copy right here. However, I know most of you will probably go to PirateBay.com and download uh, Windows XP or torrent a Windows XP file and use that. So whatever floats your boat, I really don't care. But whatever you do, you need an ISO fo format of Windows XP and not image format, but ISO. So if you do have the Windows XP disk, there are programs out there that you can just put it in and they'll make an ISO file format for you out of the disk. And lastly, you will need at least some patience because this takes maybe about, even though this video is only about 15 minutes, the whole process takes maybe nearly close to an hour. So have patience. So the whole process what we're going to be basically doing is first creating a blank image file, then we'll be installing Windows XP to that blank image file, and finally transferring that blank image file to your Android phone so you can run it via the Bosch emulator. And that's basically it. So let's get this started. Okay, what we want to do is go to Start, All Programs, and open up Bosch. Then open up Disk Image Creation Tool. Once inside, you want to create a hard disk image. So type in HD. Then type in Flat. Now for size, type in 1500. However, you can adjust this to a, whatever you want, but Windows XP generally does not need one, more than 1.5 gigabytes of size. And then type in c.img and hit enter. Okay, now what you want to do is open up Chemo Manager. Once inside Chemo Manager, you want to create a new virtual machine. So go to VM, New Virtual Machine. You can give it any name that you want to. And hit next. Now you can locate any amount of RAM that you so desire to. 512 to 1 gig is usually good. And hit next. And finally hit finish. Now what you can do is install Windows XP to your blank image file. So first you have to specify your blank image file. So what you can do is go to drives. And then hard disk 0 is going to be your blank image file. And that's your blank image file created in Bosch. And it's usually found within your C program files folder. So go to C, program files, Bosch, and go down to all files, and your C image, and hit OK. Now your CD-ROM is your Windows XP ISL. So what you can do is go and find your Windows XP ISL. And there's my Windows XP ISO. So I'm going to double click it and hit OK. Now you're ready to launch your virtual machine. So you go up to the little run button. And if everything goes out well, you should see this booting up the files and you should be good to go. So what it's going to do is it's going to install Windows XP to that blank image file. 
Now this process is going to take from 45 minutes to an hour depending on how fast your computer is. And it's you're right now running a virtual machine. So just follow all the prompts that come up and keep going until you get to an in installation. And hit enter for and hit NTFS file system when it prompts you for it. And just let the installation run and it'll take between 45 minutes to an hour. And once you get to a sign in screen, then you can officially exit the virtual machine. Okay, my, now my installation of Windows XP has completed. So once your installation has completed, what you want to do is first stop the virtual machine. So go to the stop button. Yes, end current session. Okay, now what you can do is go and find that image file, which is no longer blank, not that you have installed Windows XP to it. So go to your Bosch folder. It will be your C image file, usually located in program fo folder slash Bosch. What you want to do is copy. And then what we want to do is paste it to your SD card. Make sure your phone is mounted via disk drive mode. So I'm going to go to my SD card. I want a folder called SDL, which if you don't have it, go back to step one and make sure you download it. And if you already have a C image file located in that folder, just overwrite it with your new image file. So what you want to do is go to paste and paste your image file. Okay, this is the last link I promise that you have to go to. And this is where I got the tutorial from, by the way. So what I need you to do is scroll down and you see all these lines of text. I need you to copy them. Once you copy them, right click copy, then go to your SD card, and then go to your SDL folder, and go to the text file that says Bosch SRC, open it, and paste it in that text file. Now at the top where you see megs, that's the amount of RAM you're allocating to Windows XP. Depending on your phone, you can increase or decrease its value. I'm running Evo 3D, which has 800 megabytes available of RAM. So I'm going to happily increase this number to 512 megabytes. But once again, this is all depending on your device. I would not go past 800 megabytes if I were you. Once you have all that set and everything to your liking, what you want to do is go to File and Save. And now you're ready to run Windows XP. Okay, the moment we've all been waiting for. So on your phone, go and open up Bosch. Here we go. It's going to be the one with the little penguin on it. And if everything goes well, which it pretty much should, you will see his bio screen. And look, it's going to start booting Windows XP. Now, remember, this is not going to be nearly as fast as your computer, so you're going to need a lot of patience. So you may be on a black screen for a little bit, so just give it a few minutes. Okay, here we are. As you see, Windows XP is right now booting. Nice and slowly. Now, for me, it takes a total of probably 10 minutes until this is actually loaded onto the screen. Like, look how slow you can see that progress bar is moving. So this tells you that this is not definitely going to be the fastest thing you're ever going to use. Just something to impress people with, basically. Okay, so five minutes later, I'm finally at the Windows is starting up. So maybe in another five minutes, I'll actually be at the startup screen or be at the desktop. Welcome. Oh my gosh, I think we're actually progressing. JK, it's going to be in our five minutes. Okay, so it's been about maybe 10 minutes, and I'm finally just at the desktop. Now, like I said, honestly, this is just so gosh darn slow that it, it's you really can't do anything with this because it's so slow. But here, let me just show you. So I have the mouse moving here. So the mouse does move pretty fast. Yeah, recycling bin up there. And basically Windows XP layout. Now, 
one thing, if you want a quick way to drain your battery, this is probably the quickest way ever you can drain your battery. Internet, there is no, well actually I've never even tried accessing the internet, but I'm pretty sure there is no internet available on this, and there is no sound. So let's see, can we open up the start menu? Normally I try opening up the start menu and it takes forever. So let's see, start. Tap there. So let's see if we can just open up the start menu. And like I said, this normally takes forever to open. Okay, and you see I got a comp your computer might be at risk. No antivirus installed. Oh no. So as you see, this is really still loading up. So I tried to open up the start menu and still no luck. So probably the best thing to do is to open like the let us load, put it down for an hour, come back later and see I mean that is if you still have battery. See if it opens up. Now the awesome thing about Bosch is that it can emulate practically any desktop operating system. So Windows 7 and Windows 8 probably could work. It'll just be extremely slow. And just don't even try Vista because you know Vista is a memory hog and your phone just may self combust from Vista. Okay, so I sat here and waited for about a few minutes and now it just crashed on me. <laughs> wow, that's kind of amazing. So I guess that's a good place to end this video. So I guess the final word for this is saying this is a really cool thing to do, potential it has. But like I said, and as you can obviously see, this is really too slow to just do anything on. And it's really no purpose to it whatsoever. But still, I encourage you to try this out. Even try different operating systems. Try Linux, try other versions of Windows, whatnot, and just see what works and what doesn't work. It's all about experimenting. So thanks for watching and tune in for another galvanizing video. Thanks.